What's up, y'all? It's your girl Tay, and I'm back with another video. So basically, Shakita dropped a video with her son Armand. She did a mukbang slash like Q and A with him, asked him some questions about moving, music, nay, you know, and other topics. We're also in that category, so we about to get into this video. But I do have to start basically, you know, because like a lot of the video was about him moving. So she was like, um, she really just wants to know why, when, and where. Like, what's up? You moving? You just let me know like two days ago. What's up? I'm gonna have to agree with his mom on this first topic. Um, our mom be like, what you want me to do? You know, cause that's what, when it came to, um, him moving, she was like, he was like, no, I want you to decide mom. Like, I want you to let me know where I should go. And she's like, boy, you still gonna do what you want to do. That's our mom to a T. He'll be like, okay, y'all. So what song y'all want me to drop next? He will still do his own thing. <laughs> like, our mom be like, y'all want me to drop this on this day? We'll be like, yeah. Two weeks later, oh, I'm gonna drop it on this day. Like, all right, everybody. Like, at the same time, like, he's a very calculated, thought out person. You know what I'm saying? So he thinks out everything. He doesn't just go and do stuff. You know what I'm saying? That I like that though. He's not just a, I don't know what you call that person. That oh, impulsive. Like he's not impulsively acting, especially when it comes to moving. That's so understandable. He has his reasons for moving to LA, and I feel like he also has his reasons he don't want to move to LA. Cause like he said, his daughter is in LA. Second, he got his music. He feels it would just be easier and better for him down in LA reasons he don't want to go his family is down here his friends is down here that's understandable also makes so much sense he said he's, he wants a house because y'all know Armand he's a house person honestly Armand is a house person his whole time in Houston he was in the house for like majority of that time so it's like um you know to have a he lives in a penthouse now but bro said he ready for his house back that's understandable your own backyard your own space I just feel like you feel more free you know what I'm saying might be a little bit more responsibilities, but baby, and yeah, like you said, in LA, it's expensive. Like, you ain't about to get Houston in LA, if you know what I'm saying. Like, Houston got some good prices for houses. LA on the other end? Yeah, baby. Okay. Yeah. All right. But, um, so that's another reason he was, like, a little skeptical of moving to LA. So, and then also, I know people be like, well, him and they had all these Q&As, and they said, and you know, he was all, like, hyped for LA. And everybody thinks he's moving to L.A. with Nate. And, well, no, everybody think they moving in together. I'm like, God, dang. I've seen a lot of comments say that. And I'm sitting here like, yo, with Armand and Nate, the one thing I won't do, I'm not about to make this a whole Armand and Nate, you know, video. But I just don't assume anymore. I just feel like they got to let us know when they ready or let us know what they want to tell us, you know, whenever they want to tell us. But, yeah, we had that going on. Also, hearing our money likes cranberry sauce. That made my whole day because me and my mama be the ones at the Thanksgiving table like, did y'all did y'all remember the cranberry sauce? And I mean, even like outside of Thanksgiving, cranberry sauce is good to me. People be like, no. And I'm like, okay, calm down. I get it. Also, so like she said in her last video, uh, she was doing a Q&A. It was like basically like, who's like your, mo who's the most babied or whatever? And she was like, Armand and Trey has to be like the most babied out of the kids. But you can tell, because she's talking about, they be like, Mama, can you make my plate? Mind you, she did, though. She made a plate. She, you know, she made his plate. It was cute. I'm like, that's cute, though. Like, that's some real cute stuff. And she's like, even when your girlfriend here, you ask me to make your plate. It's crazy. It's cute, though. That's real life cute stuff. Like, Mom, can you make my plate? Like, oh, my God. But, yeah, honestly, it, it just felt like I was interrupting a conversation between them. Because, okay, this one was funny, though. This conversation was funny. Y'all know in our minds, like, the last vlog he did with Legacy, they went to, like, the museum or whatever they went. And, you know, he was, she did his makeup. <laughs> so, she was like, um, our mom's mom was like, oh, you wearing makeup now? He was like, who, me? <laughs> and she was referring to that video, though. He was like, oh, no, nah, uh-uh, uh-uh, not me. He was like, um, that was Legacy's father. That wasn't our mom, but that was Legacy's father. That was him in daddy mode. Like, he won't plan. That sent me, like, <laughs> our money said, don't play like that, mom. Don't play like that. But, yeah, he had that moment. Also, they did. Okay, let me tell y'all, because they spoke on kids when he wants to have his next kid. Let's get into how this conversation even came up. Basically, they were just speaking on, like, when they moved out of state, because, you know, mama was saying she just don't like that. So, um, y'all know it was a time when Shania, Armand, and Trey moved out of state, and then they came back to ATL, and she that's when um, Love was on the way. I don't know if she was there yet. I think, yeah, she was on the way. So then Armand's like, oh, so if we move out of state again um loyalty is gonna come <laughs> and basically like another kid and mama talking about who where what uh-uh like that ain't happening mama kina was like nah nah not mm -mm, not over here <laughs> not another one so then it's her trying to put it on her daughter who should not go have it because she ain't having another one but then she goes on to say like oh yeah i'm ready for a grandson though and i was like okay mom like yeah for real because she got 
I don't know how many granddaughters she got, even though she said it last video. I want to say it's four. I might be wrong, but yeah, I feel like she said she's ready for a grandson, which is so true. And her mind's like, well, you know, I'll give you my next child. Like, you know, I'm having my next child at 31 to 32. I'm like, dang. Because I'll give you a grandson, but it'll be at 31 to 32. I was like, okay, money. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's not that long away for him because he just turned 26, but it's still like a little time. But, you know, hey, I understand that. Get your life right. And then also they spoke on names and him, you know, he's real big, not him, but uh, he's real big on not wanting to have a junior, which is understandable because my dad was the same way. Like, I respect that. Not everybody want to have a junior. I really respect that. And then after that whole conversation, I think it was like a cut. It had to be a cut because then I, all I hear now, all right, mom, so, uh, yeah, where's your name? Moved to LA and left me. That's when, he, and he's like, I'm just, I'm just playing. That's how you know this boy cannot be serious for too long. Like, but it's good. Like, I like the lighthearted energy, the lighthearted vibes, even when, she was like, yo, so what's going on with you and Regina? He was like, you know, nothing. Like, I just talked to her. So if y'all wonder if they still talk, mind y'all, this video a little old, but not that old. Still, he was like, yeah, we just talked. You know, she just made the big move to L.A. Like he said, he has a valid point. It is a little bit easier for her because she got friends out there. She got family out there. So it's like she got a brother out there. It ain't too, you know, big of an adjustment for her. It's just a different crew. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that was the vibe. But honestly, yeah, I think this whole video, just seeing his mom support for all her kids. And, you know, she really loves them. Even when it came to her, she was like, yeah, like, my sons are stars. Like, she's just seeing how she talks about her kids was so positive. It was a cute, the cutest moment for me. Um, I'm not no mother. But when she was like, yeah, I'm just let y'all experience life and go through it. You know, basically, like, make mistakes, you know, because that's going to happen. That's bound to happen. But then it was him, uh, Armand, and his sister, Shania, being like, nah, I'm all like, let us know. Like, tell us what's up. You know, like, tell us what you know. I thought that was so cute because sometimes as, like, kids, we tend to be like, all right, mom, whatever. Like, you hear them, but you're like, oh, all right, like, okay. But then be like, nah, mom, like, talk to us. Let us know. I actually love that. Like, you could tell she has a special bond with all her kids. And although it's not glorified on social media, you know what I'm saying? Like, people be expecting everything to be on social media. So I think we'd be expecting this social media kind of relationship. And it's like, nah, like in private though, behind the cameras where it is important and it matters, they good. Like she loves and supports her kids and she wants to see the best for them. Even if that isn't LA. Cause I know that I know my girl's like, man, I cried when y'all was in Houston and now she might just, I mean, it's, and the thing is though, LA is far. Like if he does choose LA, LA is far, at least Houston. I think it was it's like a three hour flight to ATL. LA <laughs> all the way on the west coast literally coast to coast but like she said you know she even supported him when it came to LA she's like if you do move to LA I'm gonna be here to support you I'm gonna be right here I get to see legacy more I'm gonna come visit you more often it was just that energy and I love that like you know make sure because it helps your son make sure you know it's like okay mom like she got me like she's still gonna support me and still be there for me like 10 toes down for real okay also I gotta speak like this last topic was actually really a couple facts I did learn like, our mind made it because it was when it came to the diets and things, he was like, so y'all know, like, the uh, gorilla, he said, was, like, one of the strongest animals in the thing, but um in the jungle. He was like, but, you know, they don't really work out. They just eat, like, grass and stuff. Well, it's like they diet. And I was like, oh, shoot. Like, you know, our mind got some valid points going on here. And then another thing I learned was the onion. Don't cut the middle of it. And, and you know, like, if you, dang, we be cutting the middle. We be cutting, we be slicing right through that <laughs> We sliced right in the middle of an onion. Stop playing with us. But I didn't know that until him and Shania was like, yeah, you're not supposed to cut the middle. That's why you cried this, that, and the third. And then mom was talking about, I didn't teach you that, y'all chefs now. That sent me, though. But then also um, the charcoal and the teeth. Like, I'm going to really have to try that. Uh, I think I'm really going to have to, yeah. Because, yeah, that was another topic at the end. They was just talking about teeth in general. And his mom was like, yeah, I want the teeth, the white teeth like you. Mind you, Armand's teeth are, like, a pretty white. But his mama teeth is, too. I'm like, uh-uh. Her teeth is really pretty as well. Like, they have some pretty teeth over there. Stop playing with them. It was just good vibes, good energy, real cute, you know. I love the mother and son. Hopefully, Armand drop a video on his channel with his mom. I don't know what video, but it would be cute because I enjoyed that video. I enjoyed the content. But, yeah, y'all know the vibes as always. I love y'all so much. Induces.